Hey guys, thank you for tuning in Techie Nets. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, fix the screen flickering issue or uh, display flickering issue, uh, which is occurring on a Windows 11 laptops. I have already done this video for Windows 10 laptop and I have placed the link in the description. Please do check it out. So without any delay, we would go into the video. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. Let's go into the video. So now if you see my screen, it is in the login screen. So I'm just uh, trying to log in. And now you can see my laptop screen is keep on flickering and it's not allowing me to log in or do anything. So basically this issue occurs due to a recent Windows update or uh, uh, maybe issue with the driver or if your driver is recently updated, this issue might occur. Okay. So how to fix this issue? First and foremost, please hard reset the laptop and make it turn off okay so you, if you are able to do you can do it in the screen itself or you can press the power button for five or six seconds which will automatically shut down your laptop once your laptop is completely shut down you have to enter the bios mode so how you can enter the bios mode is press your uh, power button once and then keep on press escape key so my laptop is a HP laptop. So in order to go to BIOS mode, I have to enter escape key. So based on a laptop model, be it Dell, Lenovo or Asus, each laptop has its own uh, way to go to the BIOS mode. I guess uh, for Dell, it will be F11 or Lenovo, it will be some F12 or something. You can just Google it and check it out. So I'm going to turn on my laptop and I'm keeping on pressing the escape button to get into the BIOS mode. So I'm in BIOS mode now. You have to press F11 to go to system recovery. So system recovery is the place where we would be fixing this issue. So basically we would be entering in a safe mode and uninstall the updated driver which is causing the issue. So I'm going and pressing F11. So the options and the UI might vary based upon your laptop's manufacturer. Okay, we are in the system recovery mode. Here you got to select the option troubleshoot. You can use your uh, keypad to select the option. And once you click the troubleshoot option, you will be supplied with two options here. Reset this PC, advanced option. Do not reset this PC, it will clear all your data. So go to advanced option. Once you go to advanced option, you can see six few more options. Startup prepare, startup settings, command prompt, uninstall updates, firmware settings and system restore. To fix this issue, we are going to select the startup settings. And now there are a few options in the screen which would enable you to start up your system in a different way. In order to attain that option, you have to restart the system first. So I'm clicking on restart. So as soon as the system restarts, it will give you option to put the system in safe mode or safe mode of networking. So as you see in the screen, there are nine different modes to boot your system. I'm going to select the mode four. It is enable safe boot, sorry, enable safe mode. So to do that, I have to press F4. So I have pressed F4. Now the system is uh, booting in safe mode. So if you see in safe mode my screen is not flickering because basically in safe mode drivers would not work so even if you see my audio driver it is uh, red cross mark so that's the reason we are booting in safe mode to fix this issue because in normal mode you cannot fix this issue as the screen would be keep on flickering so as soon as you enter the safe mode go to device manager so device manager and here you got to go under display drivers so there are two drivers. So the second one is uh, graphics driver and first one is uh, the pro basic display driver. Okay, so I'm going to open the first one. And here, if you go and see the driver, it will show you the latest version and all the details about the driver. Okay, so what I'm basically going to do is, this driver version is 26.20. 
as i said in the beginning this issue could possibly occur after a recent windows update or a driver update because the updated driver is not compatible with your laptop so i'm just going to roll back the driver so i'm clicking roll back driver here and it lasts for a reason i am not giving any reason for now so now you can see my driver version has rolled back from 26.20 to 25.20 so our work here is done let's close this i'm closing the device manager now we can restart our device and check whether the issue is still on when you are working with bios please be careful any incorrect settings might lead your computer to corrupt 99% the issue for display flickering or screen flickering would be the device driver which has been latest updated so without even going to any other steps you can directly go to the step to fix the issue so now my login screen has come I'm trying to log in now so as you see my screen is not flickering so my system is successfully logged in the screen flickering issue is also successfully resolved so i will once more uh, check the device manager to check the driver version Here is the display driver. The driver version is 25. So in case if you wanted to stop this automatic update, because uh, the next time when your Windows gets updated, again the display driver is going to update. So in order to stop this automatic update, you can just go to Windows Update Settings. to windows update settings and you can postpone the automatic update so here if you see there is option as pause updates so you can just select pause for one week pause for five weeks so if you select pause for five weeks uh, the next five weeks the system will not get automatically updated but after five weeks yes it will still attempt so you might need to do it uh, once in five weeks uh, from the windows 10 late latest version microsoft has stopped the permanent uh, manual update so whatever happens the system will still auto update in a certain period of time so i hope uh, this video might have helped you and also i hope your issue is resolved now i will meet you in the next video thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe my channel